the IAA Transportation Conference. It's a pleasure to have you joining us via live stream as well. Our next speaker came all the way from Sweden, right here to Hanover. He's here to talk about the future of logistics, and he is from Ericsson, where he is the head of automotive marketing. Johannes Schigge, welcome. So imagine a world where driverless vehicles are getting permits to drive on public roads and car manufacturers are applying to create cars without steering wheels. Imagine a world where you can buy something online today and get it delivered in your home tomorrow. Or imagine uh, that consumers are starting to expect that they should be able to track each delivery regardless of where it is and know exactly when it's going to be arriving at their home. This is not only possible, it's happening right now. So in a sense, this is the future. And uh, every second that I'm speaking here on stage, we're moving one step together into the future. But let not, let's not fool ourselves. Uh, there's plenty of things to get uh, into right away when it comes to challenges for this industry. And we sometimes use the word future to hide from the problems that we have today. My name is Johannes Schygge, and I actually used to work in the disruptive startup called Enride, or Einride, as many of you might know. The video before with the trucks featured some of their products. Uh, but what was it that made me interested in working for a 140-year-old gigantic telecommunications company instead? Well, even though I'm 100% supportive of Enride's efforts in autonomous and electric transportation, I'm here to talk about the millions of already existing trucks out there and our duty in the name of sustainability efficiency and safety to make sure that the, we make the most out of these assets for the most amount of time. Ericsson, with our global presence, is here to help. With 100,000 employees and operations in more than 180 countries, we connect everything. You could say that uh, we provide the invisible fabric that powers our digital world, evolving it to cater the needs of today and tomorrow. Because if you think about it, cellular connectivity is everywhere. It's in our phones, in our refrigerators, our heating systems, and our cars and trucks. Connectivity is now a part of what it means to be human, and it connects us and moves us forward. Just imagine the pandemic that we just went through without connectivity. There's no going back from a technology like this. I no longer have to bet on one technology my only bet is the that the future is connected. I work in an area called IoT, or Internet of Things, and in simple terms, it's how we connect to this digital fabric that I was talking about earlier. And in really simple terms, all of these devices on the image here behind me can nowadays be connected with a SIM card, like the one in your phone. 
And these SIM connections need to be managed because there's millions of them all around the world. And through our ecosystem of our 35, 35 plus network operators, such as Deutsche Telekom or Orange, we connect and enable more than 9,000 enterprises to manage their own connected devices around the world. This makes up for 93 plus million connections, where 20 plus of these million connections are eSIM. And what's eSIM? Well, it's electronic SIM cards, a revolutionary technology removing the need to physically switch SIM cards if you're moving between regions, uh, which would be a really good thing if you're a truck company manufacturing trucks that are going to be deployed all around the world. And speaking of trucks, let's get back to logistics. We all know that the area of logistics are uh, facing a lot of different challenges. Um, some of them are high fuel costs. You're feeling it personally as well as in the industry. Driver shortage, where we have up to 100,000 uh, lacking drivers in UK alone. Increasingly strict regulations for a good reason, of course, uh, to make sure that the drivers are safe and the people around them. Environmental concerns and electrification. We've heard a lot today about the direction we're heading in. And, and also disruption from a lot of new dis business models and actors, just like the one I mentioned earlier on. And one of the key things is actually that there's still a lack of digitalization, meaning that a lot of these actors in this industry are still working with spreadsheets, fax machines, and lots of manual paperwork. So there's still a lot of potential. Let's stay optimistic. And my point here being connectivity is part of that solution, how we improve these challenges or work on these challenges. And that's why we're seeing a massive increase in connected vehicles. And this image is showing Europe. By 2023, we can expect close to 100% to be connected. And that is all for a very good reason. Because there are so many benefits. And I have some statistics here just to prove my point. And this is just some of the many uh, use cases and autonomous being one of the powerful ones in the future, but there are so many others that are actively being worked on and that I hope can inspire you to give you new direction and on things to look into. Increasing availability, lowering fuel consumption, and so much more. And naturally, the constantly updated information and commands that needs to be sent back and forth to these vehicles will be delivered through the cellular network. So I'd like, I'd like to take you through this study that we have been doing together with ZF, Orange, and Arthur D. Little uh, on the many challenges that can be addressed with some telematics solutions. This essentially means giving fleet managers and drivers access to real-time data from a bunch of sensors being turned into valuable insights. Some of you may have, heard the term, may have heard the term, data is the new gold, which is certainly the case here. Our study focused on two use cases, but of course, like I said, there are so many more. The first one being truck and trailer monitoring, which is putting a lot of different sensors on trucks and trailers to collect all sorts of data. For example, engine data, tire pressure data, positioning info, remote locks, and so much more. Improving how these assets are managed individually, but also giving an aggregated insight on the state of the entire fleet. The truck driver assistance use case is about providing data-driven driver coaching and as, and as well an automated tachograph reporting, which is usually done manually still. Here, cellular IoT provides critical real-time information to drivers and their fleet managers. So let us imagine a mid-sized European trucking company with 100 drivers and trucks. I'm going to call them Agatha and Hans GmbH. 
just to make it educational. Today, Agatha and Hans GmbH are keeping it old school, but Agatha was just at IAA hearing that she could save up to 6.1% on just two use cases. And Hans was like, wow, how is this Möglich? Which tr roughly translates to, how is this possible? Well, Hans, I will tell you how. Two thirds of these 6.1% cost savings of business value creation could come from the truck and trailer monitoring use case. With this information, trucking companies can reduce unplanned maintenance and cut, cut vehicle downtime and reduce theft, all of which reduces the overall costs and improves on-time delivery. Because an unproductive asset is costly and can lead to significant penalties. And connected assets are harder to steal. That's just how it is. But what I found quite eye-opening, though, was the significant impact from optimizing the pressure in the, in the tires, which directly turned into fuel savings. The other, asset, uh, the other use case, which represented a, a third of uh, those 6.1% of the business value creation potential, comes from the driver assistance use case. And the major saving here is caused by coaching drivers to apply a more eco-friendly driving style, as collected data can be used to create individual driver training programs, but also recommendations during the trip. And by investing in an automated tachograph, drivers can offload from their manual processes of administration, which also increases the accuracy tracking of working hours to meet regulatory requirements. This, in turn, reduces the insurance rates by reducing the risks of accidents even further, which often is caused by driver fatigue. And all of this is backed up by real tangible data, the new IE, the new gold. And of course, there are so many other benefits uh, which you cannot really calculate, and uh, some of them are shown here. Reducing CO2 emissions, which is on everyone's mind at the moment, Improving customer satisfaction just by giving that information about where is the asset, when is it coming to me, and, and then also improving employee satisfaction, doing less manual work and reducing the risks for accidents, which makes everyone happy. And as this type of study was created to inspire companies, mid-sized mid companies or smaller enterprises who have not gotten started. Uh, and we are more than happy to support those of you who are thinking about this so that we can help you introduce, uh, get introduced to some of our partners, just like ZF. And for those of you who are already well on your way uh, with IoT or connected devices, working with SIM card management, I, wanna slow, I just want to show you this summarizing slide where our Ericsson IoT Accelerator is the one interface to global connectivity with lots of different features. I'm just highlighting a few here, like real-time insights and instant switching using eSIM technology. And we would like to discuss with all of you how you're handling IoT and connected management today, or connectivity management, so that we can support you with simplifying your digital transformation journey. And we want to do that by inviting you over there to our physical lounge. Uh, so feel free to come grab a drink and, uh, and some snacks with us, have a talk about IoT connectivity and the situation you are in at the moment to see how we can help you out. So with that, I want to thank you all for listening in. I hope that you now see that why I am as excited as I am about working with connected vehicles and IoT. Because what I believe strongly is that cellular connectivity will be a necessity for a more efficient, more sustainable, and safer future. I'm just sure of it. So if you only remember one thing from today, may it be, or let it be, that the future of, connect, of logistics is connected. I wish you all a great time here at IAA, and thank you for taking the time. Goodbye. Thank you very much, Johannes, again. The Ericsson Lounge is just over here to your right. 
If you are joining us on the live stream, stay tuned. There is plenty more from ZF that is on the live stream only. Here on the main stage, we are gonna take a short break. We'll be back in 15 minutes with Dr. Stefan Benevis. See you then. <laughs> 